prohibit or regulate the use of the highways for gain. Robertson v. Department of Public Works, Supra There is a clear distinction between an automobile and a motor vehicle. An automobile has been defined as the word automobile connotes a pleasure vehicle designed for the transportation of persons on highways. American Mutual Liability and Company v. Chapit, 60A2D118, 120, 95 NH200. While the distinction is made clear between the two as the courts have stated a motor vehicle or automobile for hire is a motor vehicle, other than an automobile stage, used for the transportation of persons for which remuneration is received. International Motor Transit Company v. Seattle, 251 pages 120. The term motor vehicle is different and broader than the word automobile. City of Dayton v. DeBras, 23 NE2D 647. 650. 62 Ohio App 232. The distinction is made very clear in Title 18 U.S.C. 31 Motor Vehicle means every description or other contrivance propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways in the transportation of passengers, or passengers and property. Used for commercial purposes means the carriage of persons or property for any fare, fee, rate, charge or other considerations or directly or indirectly in connection with any business, or other undertaking intended for profit. Clearly, an automobile is private property and used for private purposes, while a motor vehicle is a machine which may be used upon the highways for trade, commerce, or hire. Travel The term travel is a significant term and is defined as the term travel and traveler are usually construed in their broad and general sense so as to include all those who rightfully use the highways viatically when being reimbursed for expenses and who have occasion to pass over them for the purpose of business, convenience, or pleasure. Emphasis added 25 mjur. First Highways, Sect 427, pages 717. Traveler, one who passes from place to place, whether for pleasure, instruction, business, or health. Lockett v. State. 47 Ala 45. Bouvier's Law Dictionary, 1914 ed., pages 3309. Travel, to journey or to pass through or over. As a country district, road, etc. To go from one place to another, whether on foot, or horseback, or in any conveyance as a train, an automobile, carriage, ship, or aircraft. Make a journey. Century Dictionary. Pages 2034. Therefore, the term travel or traveler refers to one who uses a conveyance to go from one place to another, and included all those who use the highways as a matter of right. Notice that in all these definitions the phrase for hire never occurs. This term travel or traveler implies, by definition, one who uses the road as a means to move from one place to another. Therefore, one who uses the road in the ordinary course of life and business for the purpose of travel and transportation is a traveler. Driver The term driver in contradistinction to traveler is defined as driver, one employed in conducting a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle, Bouvier's Law Dictionary, 1914 ed., pages 940. Notice that this definition includes one who is employed in conducting a vehicle. It should be self-evident that this person could not be traveling on a journey, but is using the road as a place of business operator. Today we assume that a traveler is a driver, and a driver is an operator. However, this is not the case. It will be observed from the language of the ordinance that a distinction is to be drawn between the terms operator and driver. The operator of the service car being the person who is licensed to have the car on the streets in the business of carrying passengers for hire while the driver is the one who actually drives the car. However, in the actual prosecution of business, it was possible for the same person to be both operator and driver. Newbill vs. Union Indemnity Company, 60 ASC 2D 658 To further clarify the definition of an operator the court observed that this was a vehicle for hire and that it was in the business of carrying passengers. This definition would seem to describe a person who is using the road as a place of business or in other words, a person engaged in the privilege of using the road for gain. This definition, then, is a further clarification of the distinction mentioned earlier, and therefore one. 
traveling upon and transporting one's property upon the public roads as a matter of right meets the definition of a traveler. 2. Using the road as a place of business as a matter of privilege meets the definition of a driver or an operator or both traffic having defined the terms automobile, motor vehicle, traveler, driver, and operator. The next term to define is traffic. Traffic thereon is to some extent destructive, therefore, the prevention of unnecessary duplication of auto transportation service will lengthen the life of the highways or reduce the cost of maintenance, the revenue derived by the state will also tend toward the public welfare by producing at the expense of those operating for private gain, some small part of the cost of repairing the wear. Northern Pacific RR Company vs. Schoenfeldt, 213 pages 26. In this case, the word traffic is used in conjunction with the unnecessary auto transportation service, or in other words, vehicles for hire. The word traffic is another word which is to be strictly construed to the conducting of business. Traffic, commerce, trade, sale or exchange of merchandise, bills, money, or the like. The passing of goods and commodities from one person to another for an equivalent in goods or money. Bouvier's Law Dictionary, 1914 ed., pages 3307. Here again, notice that this definition refers to one conducting business. No mention is made of one who is traveling in his automobile. This definition is of one who is engaged in the passing of a commodity or goods in exchange for money, that is, vehicles for hire. Furthermore, the word traffic and travel must have different meanings which the courts recognize. Here the Supreme Court of the State of Washington has defined the word traffic in either its primary or secondary sense in reference to business, and not to mere travel. So it is clear that the term traffic is business related and therefore, it is a privilege. The net result being that traffic is brought under the police power of the legislature. The term has no application to one who is not using the roads as a place of business. License it seems only proper to define the word license, as the definition of this word will be extremely important in understanding the statutes as they are properly applied the permission, by competent authority to do an act which without permission, would be illegal, a trespass, or a tort. People vs. Henderson 218 NW2D2, 4. Leave to do a thing which licensor could prevent. Western Electric Company vs. Passant Reproducer Corporation, 42 F2D116, 118. In order for these two definitions to apply in this case, the state would have to take up the position that the exercise of a constitutional right to use the public roads in the ordinary course of life and business is illegal, a trespass, or a tort which the state could then regulate or prevent. This position, however, would raise magnitude in its constitutional questions as this position would be diametrically opposed to fundamental constitutional law. See Conversion of a Right to a Crime, Infra. In the instant case, the proper definition of a license is a permit, granted by an appropriate governmental body, generally for consideration, to a person, firm, or a corporation to pursue some occupation or to carry on some business which is subject to regulation under the police power. Emphasis added Rosenblatt v. California State Board of Pharmacy, 158 pages 2d 199, 203. This definition would fall more in line with the privilege of carrying on business on the streets. Most people tend to think that licensing is imposed by the state for the purpose of raising revenue, yet there may well be more subtle reasons contemplated. For when one seeks permission from someone to do something he invokes the jurisdiction of the licensor which, in this case, is the state. In essence, the licensee may well be seeking to be regulated by the licensor. A license fee is a charge made primarily for regulation, with the fee to cover costs and expenses of supervision or regulation. State vs. Jackson, 16 